Ask Yuri. You've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. Hey guys, how's it going? Yuri here. Today we're going to be talking about pumpkin seeds and phytic acid. Uh, one of our Super Nutrition Academy students, Kenny, is asking me, I'm just reading from my iPhone here, uh, I, like, I like to eat pumpkin seeds for their awesome benefits. For instance, like zinc is very, very awesome, a very high source in uh, pumpkin seeds as well as protein. But I'm concerned about the phytic acid. Uh, phytic acid is an anti-nutrient, which we'll talk about in a second. I do soak them to, to nullify the enzyme inhibitors, but understand that it doesn't nullify the phytic acid. I'm trying a pumpkin seed yogurt. Having read that by fermenting seeds, the phytic acid is nullified. Why can't I find the other word for this <laughs> I'm looking for? He's already mentioned it three times. I've also heard of soaking them in fulvic acid, but that can be expensive. Any ideas? Thank you. All right, so uh, great question. So any seeds are gonna have some type of anti-nutrient. And by anti-nutrient, I mean things like gluten, which are protective mechanisms for the seed to basically allow them to propagate their species and survive, right? So gluten, for instance, attacks our intestines. And in doing so, it allows gluten to kind of pass through and into our stool and ideally out to the earth to be replanted as wheat, as an example, okay? Now, phytic acid is something else that is found in a lot of seeds uh, very commonly. Again, it's an anti-nutrient, so it, it binds to certain minerals. It, it kind of inhibits their absorption. And it's often found in a lot of seeds. So that's why I'm not too crazy. You, I, I really have reduced the number of seeds that I eat now. And even though pumpkin seeds are awesome, I don't really, I mean, I just have a, I have a bag full of them in, this, in the fridge. And I don't eat them as much as I used to. Having said that, um, I'm gonna give you a couple ideas for Kenny. Now, what you can do to kind of limit the phytic acid is first of all, soaking them a little bit will help, okay? Um, to some degree. Sprouting usually decreases the phytic acid, but sprouting pumpkin seeds is really, yeah, it's not really what you do with pumpkin seeds. So I would soak them in a bit of water with lemon juice and soak them there for a couple hours. The lemon juice will actually help extract some of the phytic acid out of there. Is it a significant thing? I don't really know. I mean, I don't know if I would consume copious amounts of any seeds, let alone pumpkin seeds, which are pretty good for us, uh, just because of the phytic acid and because of the nature of seeds in general tend to be, you know, once you understand how they operate and the, the, from a botany perspective, it, it just uh, makes you consider whether you really need them. So uh, pumpkin seed yogurt, that sounds pretty cool. I've actually never even come across that, so that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, so I don't, I don't know if that really helps. So soaking generally with seeds, you wanna soak them, you wanna sprout them if you can, like sunflower seeds can be sprouted. Uh, I believe, yeah, for the most part they can be. Some seeds you don't necessarily wanna sprout just based on taste or flavor or you know what, what you enjoy, but with the pumpkin seeds, soak them in a little bit of lemon juice, sorry, in water with a little bit of lemon juice and that'll help kind of to nullify a bit of that phytic acid. Um, but my advice is like, don't, I, would, I wouldn't be too concerned about it unless you're eating copious amounts of pumpkin seeds. Okay, so for instance, like with a lot of raw food, uh, raw, a lot of raw food recipes that are dessert based and the whole shell, for instance, like the whole crust of sunflower seed, that's a lot of seed, right? If you eat that over a couple days. So those are kind of the instances where you wanna be a little bit more conscious of how many seeds you're eating. But I think overall, uh, my best advice would be to soak it in water, add a bit of lemon juice, and just then hope for the best. Again, you never really know what this stuff, right? You can do the best you can, you can do the research, I can hopefully help you out, and um, yeah, hopefully that helps you out. Thanks, Kenny. And if you guys have any other questions, be sure to join me on Facebook, the URL is down here somewhere, and uh, that's where you wanna post all your questions, right? I'm obviously doing these videos for you to answer your questions, no matter how big or small, and uh, hopefully we can help more people with these similar issues. All right, guys, talk to you soon.